Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? I'm really excited because today, Jade's freaking out over there. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is back there. You see her? Uh, today marks, you want to stay over here with us? Today marks two years since we got Beatrix here. I'm trying to be careful so she doesn't bite me. Um, and I just wanted to go over her two-year history here, because as you can see, she's just looking beautiful lately. It's a beautiful day. She's very happy to take blueberries from me. Um, otherwise, she doesn't really like when I get too close, of course. Rhea, are you going to try to steal her blueberry? No. As most of you know, when we got Beatrix, she was basically on the verge of death. She had several respiratory infections. You can see what I was talking about earlier if you kind of look. Definitely looks like something's been coming out of her nostrils there maybe. See that? And her feathers just generally look a little more Stiff and wiry than they should. She had muscle atrophy, her wings were clipped, she had no tail feathers, and she still struggles to keep them to this day because she doesn't know how to take care of her tail anymore. She's so beautiful with her tail, it's such a shame that she doesn't know how to keep it anymore because of her history without it. She's very happy about that blueberry. They're all a little bit hormonal because the spring is kicking off here. But this one, I just wanted this video to be a celebration of Beatrix and her history. Um, you know, she's not the most cooperative or friendly bird. Um, she's had a rough history. She was kept in a small cage and had muscle atrophy, as most of you know. And now she lives safely and happily with us here. Oh. Yeah, she was a little aggressive there until she saw I had food. She lives with us here safely and happily outside. Oh, God. Uh, Rhea's... There's lots of chaos going on today. And with her sister, Jade, now... Another bird like her that has a complicated history. Um, and as you can see, what do we have back there being built? Huh. That's new. How did that get there? Huh. We're focusing on Beatrix today. So stop hogging, stop hogging the camera there, Rhea. Um, all our plants are dead out here, which kind of sucks. But anyways, what was I saying? If you look behind her there, or in front of her now, I guess, you'll see a lovely new structure going up that I've been working on the past couple of weeks. Thanks to all of our patrons and uh, members on YouTube, we are about to soon have a new giant enclosure for them, as you can see right there. It's literally... It's almost as many square feet as my actual house. So it's <laughs> it's pretty insane and I'm so excited to get it up. It's been so hard to get it started because material cost lately has just been... Okay, you're getting a little bit too close there. I feel like you're going to bite my face. Can you back up? Can you go over? Lala's on the ground over here. I'm afraid I'm going to step on him. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I'm just without words right now because I'm so... Well, first of all, I'm extremely tired. I've been super busy the past couple weeks. Um, I'm exhausted. Uh, it's been insane. Anyways, between this, the enclosure back there, and a few other things um, I'll get into later. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for just sticking with us and supporting and um, believing in us. Hopefully having that up will be, will make things a lot easier for me and for the birds. Um, but especially for me, because I'm getting really tired lately. Um, I apologize for 
content not coming out as much lately. <sighs> you can probably hear it in my voice how tired I am. I'm having trouble even finding words right now. Um, but, are you guys excited? <clears throat> I know it's not the house that everyone was hoping we would move to. Um, with COVID and everything, it just really ruined and put a, I mean, it threw a wrench into our plans for sure. Everything just got expensive and the housing market went and kind of, okay, please don't bite me. Here. Got kind of insane, but we're going to do the best with what we have. And it's all thanks to you guys um, for even giving us the opportunity. Oh God. You're getting a little too close to my face there for comfort, Beatrix. You're very pretty, but I do not want to be bitten in the face. You know? Look, you want some more? Uh, uh, you know, when when we got Beatrix, she was so weak and cowardly. Like, she was, she was more... She wasn't even flight. She couldn't fly at all, first of all. She could hardly even hop around or move. She would cower a lot. She would just try to hide. Um, she was a lot more submissive. Um, she's very strong now and very bitey. And although that sounds bad, it is actually a good sign because when, you know, when we first saw her, she was to the point where she didn't even mind so much being touched because she was so sick, like she was so close to death. So uh, when I got her, she had to have all this medicine. Uh, I had to put her in a I had to make a nebulizing chamber for her um, and also give her medicine twice a day through a syringe and uh, put her in that chamber, which she didn't like. That probably did not help our relationship, but she's alive now and that's what matters. Um, she's not wheezing and sneezing and, you know, snorting up weird liquids and stuff like she was before. And it took a long time to get her where she is now, um, where she can fly and she can hop. And like, cause she couldn't hop or fly at all when we got her. She would slip and slide around. Um, she couldn't har hardly hold herself up many times. Um, you know, and even when she got her wing feathers back to fly, she couldn't hardly fly because her muscles were so atrophied. And it's taken a while to get her where she is now, but you know. She's doing wonderfully now. I haven't had a problem with her since. Uh, oh, you know, aside from the the scarring and the bites and what have you. <laughs> as long as I have food, she will she will let my hand uh, go. But I'm just glad that they have the ability, uh, her and Jade especially, they have the ability to spend time with their own kind outside and you know have minimal interference for me um you know is me being out here right now jade's freaking out i know it makes her nervous for me to stand out here hopefully they will warm up a little bit better whenever we get that new enclosure done for them back there uh, i, I want to keep them outside all year um, as much as possible as soon as it's done and get it planted and all that kind of stuff and obviously we need some new trees because these these have uh suffered where they were during the winter. Beatrix was basically, <clears throat> as far as we can tell, um, smuggled from the wild. Uh, and once they get here, they have nowhere to go. And they often get sold in pet stores um, or like swap meets, uh, like, what do they call it? Farmers type markets. St oh my God, Rhea's jumping on me. Um, that's another good thing about the mystery structure back there is uh, I'm going to have a little bit more room to move around. Um, I'm kind of tall and I hit my head on these branches constantly, so I'm excited not to have to worry about that as much. Um, but anyways, a lot of really awesome, great things coming soon. I know there haven't been a lot of videos lately, but it's I've just been, I've been so exhausted trying to do this and then try to take care of my own health as well. Uh, I have a cardiology appointment, another one coming up soon. Um, I've been exhausted and haven't been feeling the best as far as my heart goes, so um, appreciate everyone sticking with us even though we're uh, lagging behind a bit in content. Um, but anyways, I love you guys so much. 
Thank you so. Okay, nice poop there. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, um, and we'll see you next time. So bye for now, everybody.